that father follows his grandfather's, his great grandfather's footsteps out to California during the Depression era to try to strike his fortune and make it rich. It's a very um, complex. Yes, it is. Well, the, the William Gray happens to be on the same site as um, a Depression era soup kitchen called the White Angel Jungle. It's right down the down the street, which is now the Levi Strauss Plaza. Uh, so <laughs> this is a song that kind of links them all together. <laughs> She lays 18 feet underneath the cold sidewalk and no one remembers her name. Her stories were fast lost in some distant past. She's the wreck of the William Gray. Well, living was hard and the wages were none when I left my Virginia home. My father had gone soon after I was born. Leaving us all on alone. They say he died proud fighting in the Great War, and that we should be proud just the same. But pride don't do much when you're cold, broke, and hungry, and all that he left was his name. Well, my father's grandfather had left when his own son was just about seven years old. He'd felt the crush of that great westward rush, and he went out hunting for gold. They'd heard he made fortunes out there in the mines, but he never sent nothing their way. All that was known was he'd went round the horn on a ship called the William Gray. Boxcar and started my way far across the dust bowl of the plains. Oh, the men I did meet and the things I did see riding along on them westbound freights. We was down on our luck, but we hadn't gave up. We'd been dealt our share of bad hands. As the rails took us westward, we hoped for the best. We were headed for the promised land. But I found in this city of promise a new life. There wasn't much of either one. Just the hardships and tough times, hard living and then bread lines, the same as where I come from. When you feel all alone and your belly does moan, and you think that you run your last race, down the white angel jungle they'll hear all your troubles, even if they don't know your face. No way to go home, I was just skin and bones when I took that last walk to the sea. I stripped off my rags and I threw down my bags as I heard a voice calling to me. And with the last of my pride and the outgoing tide, I get to hear my great-grandfather say, There's a birth with your name on it here in the deep on a ship called the William Gray.